So I got a joke. How do you spell loser in the state of Texas? C-O-W-B-O-Y-S. You can start laughing. <laughs> For starters, all right, how was your weekend? Was your weekend good? My weekend, it was amazing, all right? As you can see, I'm wearing my Eagles gear today because we play today. And uh, although I am not very optimistic, as long as I got to see Dallas lose last night, I feel amazing. Um, today we're gonna be doing something a little different, something I haven't done in almost a year now, actually, which is actually reviewing music. I know, it's it's a mind blower. I couldn't believe it either, I didn't think I actually had it in me. But, for today's video, we gotta talk about 21 Savage's latest project that he dropped last Friday called American Dream. It's been six years since the last solo album from 21 Savage, and in between that time, he's dropped two collab projects, one with Metro Boomin and one with Drake. And when listening to American Dream, I feel like I have completely overblown my expectations with 21 Savage. Would I say this album is bad? Uh, no, not exactly, but it's not very exciting either. It's it's like listening to I Am, I Was combined with Her Loss, you know, and I wanted to be more optimistic about it. You know, I want to be like, oh, yeah, this shit's going to hit. I, I hold 21 Savage in some sort of high regard. You know, and I feel like he could do something here. You know, it's been a while. He should have at least, you know, changed and adapted with the times. But of course, it feels as if the more mainstream he's gotten, it's as if his music has gotten more uninspired and it's converted even more and more into pop rap, which I just don't really care for. So it starts off with the beginning narration from 21 Savage's mother. And basically the initial track is just the mom just talking about their trials and tribulations just to be able to create a better life for 21 Savage here in America to try and get out of the, the uh, uh, shithousery that they were in while they were in the UK so uh I feel like this is like the only serious moment this album actually had everything else in this project in my opinion felt uh very very unserious and I said it before I wanted to be optimistic but I just I just couldn't there was just so much here that just felt repetitive kind of stale I said it before uninteresting uninspired and the bars here from 21 were either just really cringy really bad really silly or just really dumb you know like on the track sneaky here he says all my hoes clean they be squeaky on the chorus of course which i thought was pretty silly but then he says when we fucking we get stuck because i'm a dog and i think when i heard that bar i immediately took out my headphones put them back in their case and walked out of my room because i was so bothered by that i get the dog analogy but could you have at least said anything else i don't want to talk about dog sex analogies when i'm hearing somebody rap in all due respect of course you can't have a 21 savage album without a poop bar it just feels like a sort of ritual for all rappers to have a poop bar and on the song pop your shit with young thug and metro he says on the course it smells like gas i think somebody pooped which i thought was just hilariously bad i can't believe he actually said that but yeah that's that's kind of what just what kills me about this album it just feels so unserious and it's not like i'm actually forcing it to be serious but i would think that after all this time you know i said it before since six years since his previous solo project you would think he would at least be able to step a level up from i am i was but instead he kind of just doubled down and it made everything sound just a little bit worse honestly like i this music feels very comfortable this album feels very comfortable it feels very safe it feels very mainstream it feels very poppy it feels like it's just trying to push for billboard charts and that's what i'm not a fan of it feels like it's trying to just get radio play and that's what i'm not a fan of 21 savage goes in on this album in terms of lyricism it's not exactly the strongest he's mainly just talking about getting ops and fucking bitches and you know the, the usual run of the mill stuff that you usually hear from a trap rapper which is not something i would exactly criticize you know i've heard it from artists i like it from a lot of artists including 21 savage himself i've heard it and then it's like you know i listen to guys like cardi who will you know say the same thing but i guess the difference between you know cardi and 21 savage is the fact that at least cardi has been able to elevate his sound from self-titled to now you know instead of 
kind of just doubling down and you know repeating the same formulaic song structure that kind of just makes a lot of his stuff feel kind of samey like at least when i listen to cardi it feels exciting this this album is not exciting <laughs> There was also a couple of features on here as well. You had Doja Cat, you had Travis Scott, you had Summer Walker, Ben Fez. I think my favorite one was probably Doja Cat and that was on a track N-H-I-E. I think my only problem is, is that one, I felt like that song was just a little too short and two, I feel like Doja Cat's verse was just a little too short. Like, And I mean, of course her presence was there. You know, she had the ad libs, which I thought was cool. She added a lot of flavor and spice to the song that I feel like if she did not add, I would have thought that song sucked ass. You also had Young Thug on the track Pop Your Shit, which I thought was an okay track. I think what really carried it was the beat from Metro Boomin. I thought this was the best Metro beat on the album. But in terms of the Young Thug feature, it felt in a sense kind of phoned in. Like he phoned it in straight from the jail cell. It didn't really feel like it added a lot. It kind of gave like the same energy that uh, Way Too Sexy by Drake and Future did. You know, when Young Thug was on that song, it, it just felt like he was kind of just there. You know what I mean? You know, he did try to get a little bit more serious on this project. You know, there was the song Letter to My Brother, which of course seems to be more of just, you know, some sort of homage to, you know, uh, what seems to be like a close friend, you know, that might have held it down for him and vice versa and everything like that, which I thought was pretty cool. Of course, they went for a different beat, you know what I mean, which instead sounds like something you'd hear J. Cole rap on on an NBA 2K soundtrack, but I digress. Wasn't exactly a song I would save on my own playlist, but I mean, I don't know, I could see somebody messing with it, I guess. Um, I just feel like he would have had this more serious direction on the rest of his album instead of just on this one song and on the intro track from his own mother, you know. It's just like, that's my biggest gripe right here. I feel like this could have been the album to more solidify him. This album just, it's just not screaming album of the year for me. It's not pushing any boundaries. It's not really in my face saying, wow, this is amazing and I'm gonna remember it for the rest of the year. If anything, I'm going to forget this album by the end of the month. It's not challenging my listening experience. It's not even challenging 21's creative experience either. Everything just seems, I said it before, everything just seems very safe. And I don't know, I feel like that's what kind of disappointed me, but also at the same time just didn't surprise me at all. In terms of the Travis Scott feature, he said he wanted to go for that more Kanye-inspired lyricism that we usually tend to hear from Travis whenever he actually wants to rap instead of just vocalizing. And you know, when I say Kanye-inspired lyricism, I in a sense mean when you actually listen to it, you kind of got to think, what the fuck is he actually talking about? But when you don't think about it too hard, it still sounds kind of cool, I guess. Then there was also the track Just Like Me featuring Burna Boy which is more towards the end of the album but I feel like it was also a pretty weak track I didn't really care for any of it all of it just sounded very boring um the beat felt very formulaic and boring burna boy I feel like he was kind of just there I didn't really think he added too much I mean he had the chorus but I didn't really care for the chorus I didn't really care for the verses either the entire song just seemed very basic in structure very formulaic just boring you know then of course there was also summer walker on the track prove it which it kind of gave me the same vibes as burna boy with his feature uh, it, it just felt like, you know, it was, it was good. She is, you know, Summer Walker is a great singer. I loved her voice on this track, but I just didn't feel like she really fit, like, anywhere. She was on the chorus, but it, she just felt so out of place. It felt like she was just tossed in there. To put it basically, if I haven't clarified this enough, I think this album is just very mid. I think it is mid as fuck. I feel like I, I'm just not excited when I listen to this project. When I listen to a good album, uh, I don't think about the fact of, yo, holy shit, this album's still going. But when I listen to American Dream by 21 Savage, that is exactly the feeling I'm getting right now. I feel so bored. There's nothing here that's grabbing me. There's nothing that's ear catching. Nothing that's really screaming out to me that this deserves a top 10 in my album of the year. I kind of just got very overplayed with how 21 Savage raps. He sounds very bored on a lot of these tracks. His flow can be kind of weak. His cadence just is not the strongest. I'm not a fan of his monotone voice and how it kind of drags through these songs. It can, you know, make that boring experience even more boring. I just, I, I'm not impressed. I'm not impressed. He needs to go back to the drawing board. And I know a lot of people tend to say that a lot with a lot of rappers, oh, they need to do something different, blah, 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 blah. But especially going from I Am I Was to his collab with Metro to her loss with Drake to now with his third solo album 
in after a six year stretch it just feels like he's gotten extremely comfortable and it's made his music extremely boring to me but now i'm actually going to start editing this video and then i will see you guys next week when i am either crying or laughing at the fact that the eagles even made it this far in the playoffs i'll see you guys later go birds peace well, now that I'm done with my review, I can now spend the next 30 minutes of this video explaining why France really doesn't exist, and it's just a CIA experiment made to force us to like Europeans. But if you liked the video, feel free to subscribe as well, follow my IG and Twitter, and follow Chocolate on Instagram for more illustrations. And on that note, I'll see you guys next time when I have absolutely nothing funny to say at the end of my videos. Peace. <laughs>